just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too Said you're working on yourself, is she helping with that too? You gave her the time of day You told her that you would stay You made me feel the same way What goes around comes around, that's what I always say what's up virgo and welcome to my channel i hope all of my beautiful my powerful and my handsome virgos out there doing well all right you guys i'm giving y'all some some little bonuses i kind of got behind this week so i'm trying to give y'all some bonus readings to catch up i would not okay so this is going to be a love reading for you virgo okay so if anything resonates for you don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel also comment let your girl blue flame know what's going on and if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, let's go. All right, Virgo, so the first card we have is Fat Joe featuring Joe, okay? Don't want to be a player no more. So somebody wants to let you know, Virgo, that they don't want to be a player no more, okay? So somebody could have cheated on you in the past. Or somebody could have put you in a third-party situation. They could have been dealing with you and other people too, okay? But they don't want to be a player no more, okay? This is someone that wants you to shake it off, okay? Whatever they did to you in the past, whatever happened, they want you to forgive them, you know, and shake that shit off. They don't want you to always see them in a certain light or always, you know, think about what happened between you and this person, okay? And this person is saying, Virgo, they are ready to see your wild side, okay? So somebody, baby, could be desiring you sexually. You know what I'm saying? They want to know, Virgo, you got a little wild side to you. You look like you might be a freak, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so let's pull some messages here. Let's see what Virgo needs to know. Messages for my Virgos. I'll see it. What is it that my Virgos need to know? Love reading, Holy Spirit, for my Virgos. What is it that Virgo needs to know? All right, Virgo, we have, I wrote you a letter on paper, but I'm too afraid to show it to you, okay? So you can be dealing with someone, Virgo, that has problems with opening up, you know, talking about feelings and emotions. So for some of you, this person could have wrote you like a love letter, you know, or they expressed how they feel to you on a letter, you know what I'm saying? But this is someone that's too afraid to show you this letter, though, okay? So someone here has maybe opened up or confessed something to you, they wrote it down, but they're afraid to show it to you, okay? Ooh, Virgo, somebody wants to let you know, baby, that they love you, okay? So someone here loves you, and this person could have expressed this on you know what I'm saying? This letter that they wrote you, but they're too afraid to give it to you. Someone here feels like they've known you all their life, okay? Yet you're so mysterious. So some of you, maybe this is someone, you know, like you've known them, but you didn't know them. You know what I'm saying? You know how you know somebody, but you don't know them. You really wasn't around them. You didn't really have a conversation with them. Y'all didn't have the same circle of friends. You know what I'm saying? But this person, they feel like even though they know you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're still mysterious. Like, this person feels like you're a, my you're a mystery. You know, you don't quite don't reveal everything about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You kind of got a little mysterious side. You know, a little side to you that they, they, quite, they can't quite put their finger on. You know what I'm saying? Something about you that they can't, damn, I can't talk. They can't quite figure out. <laughs> Tell us more, Holy Spirit. The sound of your laughter is like a drug to me. Okay, so some of you, maybe you have, you know, good conversations with this person. They make you laugh. But it's like, I feel like this person does things to make you laugh because they love to hear you laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's like a drug. Like, you know, you need a drug. You need your medication. So, like, your laughter could be healing to this person or, like, it touches this person in a different way. We also have, I'm working hard on my finances for you, for us, and for our future. Okay. So, Virgo, somebody here is saying, baby, they're working hard for the money, okay? They're working for their finances for them, okay? They want to be stable. They want to be financially stable. They want to be financially stable for them first. Secondly, they want to be financially stable for you. And then third, they want to be financially stable so that you guys can have a future together where they're taking care and providing for you okay 
So this could be someone, maybe they're not financially stable or their finances, you know, aren't the way that they want them to be. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Virgos. When you touch me, I feel like butterflies in my stomach. Okay, so this is like, you know, like new love or like when someone's in love. You know, you get those butterflies. You know how you use a teenage love. You get those little butterflies, those little flutters inside of you when you're around somebody that, you know, you got feelings for, okay? So it's like when you touch me, okay, it's like this person, they just get this, this sensation all over their body, okay? And they feel like you bring out the best in them, okay? So Virgo, whatever you're doing to somebody, baby, you are bringing out the best in this person, whether you are aware of this or not, okay? Let's get a couple of more. All right. Your beauty is so captivating that I forget to blink. Okay, so somebody here could be, like, looking at your pictures. Maybe you post pictures or something. They just stare at your ass. You know what I'm saying? They just forget to blink. They just sitting there staring, mouth open, drooling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because your beauty is so captivating. It's like, damn, I ain't never seen a, a more sexier ass, beautiful ass Virgo. You know what I'm saying? A handsome ass Virgo like that. Like, shit, where, where they breed you with, okay? I remember the first day we met. It felt like yesterday, okay? So some of you guys, this person's reminiscing to like, when you first met, when your first conversation, your first interaction, you know what I'm saying? For sometimes, for some of you, your first sexual experience, you know what I'm saying? They're reminiscing about that, okay? And for some of you, this is what they wrote in that letter, how they fell in love the first time that they made love to you, the first time they saw you, the first time they, you know what I'm saying, interacted with you, like they loved everything about that. But maybe this person had a hard time opening up and being vulnerable and, you know, letting you in, letting you know exactly how they feel. So let's see who this reading is about for my Virgo. Virgo, we have Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius. We have Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. And we also have Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, and Sagittarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.